All right, where did the idea come from? It really just came from me wanting this company to exist. I was frustrated with the lack of options in the marketplace. I was frustrated with greenwashing. It all started with the actress, Jessica Alba, who had a brilliant idea. Tired of the toxic chemicals and harmful ingredients found in everyday products, she decided to take matters into her own hands and create something truly revolutionary. And so, in 2011, she founded the most honest company with her passion for a healthy healthier and safer world. Jessica embarked on a mission to provide families with trustworthy and eco-friendly products. Armed with her knowledge and determination, she gathered a team of experts, Christopher Gavigan, who led a non-profit called Healthy Child Healthy World, and the duo teamed up with two others, Brian Lee, an attorney who co-founded LegalZoom.com, and Sean Ken, an executive at e-commerce site PriceGrabber.com. Lee and Alba with another undisclosed investor who provided the initial seed money of $6 million. Together, they set out to create a line of products that would be safe, effective, and of course, honest. The company's mission was noble to provide consumers with a range of household and personal care items that were free from harmful chemicals and toxins. At first, the honest company soared to great heights, basking in the glow of its founder's star power. It initially gained immense popularity and admiration for its commitment to transparency and sustainability. Consumers were drawn to the company's promise of using natural ingredients free from harmful chemicals in their wide range of products, including baby care, personal care and household items. Jessica Alba's star power undoubtedly played a significant role in establishing the company's good reputation and her genuine passion for creating a better world resonated with many, which made the honest company to become a symbol of trust and reliability. Within three years, the company was doing $150 million in sales and had raised nearly $100 million from investors at a valuation of $860. $65 million. Still showing progress, in June 2015, Alba appeared on the cover of Forbes as an up and comer to the list of the America's richest self made women. Honest had grown from 10 million US dollars in sales to an estimated 250 million dollars in 2015. He was eyeing new headquarters in Playa Vista and was on a hiring spree. Forbes valued the business at 1 billion dollars, making Alba worth about 200 million dollars. However, as the company grew in size and influence, cracks began to appear in its pristine image. The good reputation that the honest company had built was soon plagued with a series of consumer complaints. Dissatisfied customers voiced concerns about the effectiveness and quality of the products, claiming that they did not live up to the company's promises. Some even questioned the accuracy of the company's claims about ingredient safety. One of the most explosive controversies that rocked the honest company was the infamous sunscreen get. In 2015, the company faced a class action lawsuit alleging that its sunscreen was ineffective and caused sunburns. New lawsuit claims Jessica Alba's honest company isn't all that honest. In documents obtained by ET, consumer Jonathan D. Rubin claims that her honest line of household goods, which is marketed as natural, are actually made with synthetic materials. Rubin claims the honest sunscreen is ineffective and calls The plaintiff alleged that she used the product as directed on her children who experienced severe sunburns. Say what? It was a PR nightmare that left the company scrambling to regain its credibility. The lawsuit was eventually settled, however, it was a warning that a company that prides itself on honesty was being accused of selling sunburn in a bottle. That sunscreen complaint also went viral when customers started tweeting out photos of horrible sunburns that happened while using honest sunscreen. Then, there were the claims that some of their products contained harsh chemicals despite being marketed as natural and safe. And I mean, 
who can forget the ingredients fiasco? Here, the company that prided itself on transparency was outrightly exposed because some of their products contained potentially harmful ingredients. In September 2015, a customer in California sued the company, alleging that it falsely advertised its products and harmed consumers by inducing them to purchase and consume the honest products on the false promise that the products are natural and effective. The customer alleged that the products contained synthetic, non-natural ingredients. With the claim, it was like a bomb went off in the beauty industry. Customers felt betrayed, their trust had been shattered into a million pieces. It's like finding out your favorite organic smoothie is secretly filled with artificial sweeteners. Cue the gasps of betrayal. Further allegations came about Honest's use of a chemical called SLS, which is known as a skin irritant in detergents and soaps. However, the company denied the allegations and later settled two class action lawsuits consisting of these allegations. With the SLS, it was more like a tug of war and it started by a one Margot Smith in Missouri who claimed that Honest deceptively marketed its popular consumer liquid laundry detergent, dish soap, multi-surface cleaner and other products as not containing sodium laurel sulfate SLS. However, tests published by the Wall Street Journal has found significant amounts of the foaming cleaning chemical. Defending themselves, the Honest Company responded by standing by its products and clarifying that the brand uses sodium soco sulfate SCS instead of SLS. In a blog post, it faulted the paper for not testing for SCS, which it describes as less irritating and safer to use. The brand went so far as to break down the molecular structure of both compounds. These two went back and forth and the point of contention was because Honest claimed SLS and SCS are different chemicals because SCS can only be made from raw coconut oil while SLS can be made from palm oil or petroleum. But the Wall Street Journal reported that SCS always contains SLS in addition to other compounds. Ultimately, Honest agreed to pay a $1.6 million class action settlement in response to claims of dishonest advertising about the ingredients in its cleaning products. Additionally, the company opted to reformulate its product to remove the ingredients in question, SCS, and issued the following statement to Daily Mail. We vigorously deny any and all allegations alleged in the lawsuit, specifically that any of our cleaning products contain SLS. However, given the fact that continued litigation could be protracted and expensive, we have settled this lawsuit to limit further costs and destruction to our business. We stand behind the safety and effectiveness of our products and the responsibility we have to our customers, and we are gratified by the loyalty of both our customers and retail partners. However, just the following year, Honest faced another lawsuit, this time over its baby formula. The lawsuit alleged that the company's formula contained synthetic ingredients that were not disclosed on the label. The Honest Co. is falsely representing its premium infant formula as organic even though this product contains 11 synthetic substances prohibited under federal law in organic products. This is unacceptable. Catherine Paul, Associate Director of the Organic Consumers Association, told ABC News. Paul even said she wanted Honest to remove the word organic from the infant formula label or remove the ingredients. Despite the claims, Honest seemed unfazed because a statement from the company read, Our organic infant formula is cleared by the Food and Drug Administration and meets all safety and nutritional standards. It is also certified USDA organic by an independent third party in strict accordance with the National Organic Program. We are confident this lawsuit will be dismissed. This wave of discontentment continued to cast a shadow over the once shining star of Honest. And to make matters worse, in May 2017, the company issued a voluntary recall of its baby wipes due to the presence of mold. And that summer, it settled two class action lawsuits that were formed after the earlier lawsuits for 1.6 million US dollars and 7.35 million dollars. In January 2017, a voluntary recall of its organic baby powder was announced due to possible contamination causing eye and skin infections. 
The company has also been questioned for its claims of using green ingredients. The company found itself entangled in frequent lawsuits, with many questioning the ingredients used in their products. Allegations were made that certain products contained undisclosed chemicals or failed to meet the promised standards of being natural and safe. All these further tarnished the company's reputation, leaving consumers and industry experts questioning the integrity of Honest. But let's not forget the consumer complaints. Oh boy, there have been plenty. From diaper rashes, blamed on the Honest Company's supposedly gentle diapers, to allergic reactions caused by their skincare products, customers have not been shy about voicing their dissatisfaction. Some disgruntled customers even took to social media to share their experiences. It was a virtual courtroom where people presented their evidence in the form of angry tweets and scathing Facebook posts. Leslie Jones took to Twitter to share her frustration with the brand, which seemed to have delivered Jones' orders let even after she has paid extra for overnight shipping. Jones tagged both the company and Alba herself in the tweet. Okay, at Honest, you just lost a good customer. At Jessica Alba, please address your company that it is not doing good business. I have used your company for more than three years now and these last three orders have been a nightmare. I have spent too much money here for that to happen. Honest repetition took a hit and they had to do some serious damage control. They implemented rigorous quality control measures, revamped their ingredient sourcing process and improved their customer service. Jessica Alba herself publicly addressed the concerns, expressing her dedication to rectifying any mistakes and reaffirming the company's commitment to its core values. Despite these efforts, the damage had already been done. The once shining reputation of the honest company had been tarnished and consumer trust had been weathered. The road to redemption proved to be a challenging one as the company faced an uphill battle to regain the confidence of its customers. It seems like they've been in court more often than some celebrities. But what do you think? Is the company truly living up to its name? We want to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think about the honest company's honesty. As for us, we'll be keeping a close eye on the company and its, fu and its future endeavors.